to part um, A. So um, the crash course motivation is really module two. So we have had the uh, foundation module, which was uh, essentially just uh, you know finite dimensional Hilbert spaces and you know operators. So we decided to create uh, module two, which will cover like a Lie group, Lie theory, you know, Lie groups, Lie algebras, and representation. So um, looking at the Wikipedia, for instance, it says <laughs> in mathematics, a Lie group is a group. You guys, uh, those who, who have taken the foundation module know what uh, a group is, but it's a group that is also a differentiable manifold. This is the key. A manifold is a space that locally resembles Euclidean space, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so the motivation behind the crash course is really to uh, give you a crash course so you understand what the differentiable, or if you want to be more precise, a special uh, um, uh, smooth manifolds or see infinite uh, manifolds uh, before we get to module two. That way you have enough time to wrap your head around uh, the concept of uh, uh, manifold. The actual um, way uh, the group structure and the uh, the manifold, the top, uh, the, the differentiable structure, uh, inter uh, interconnect with each other or you know uh, coexist together. This is something we will do later. So the essentially the the purpose of this crash course is to get you uh, in here, starting with the topological spaces, and then uh, going through topological manifolds, and finally get to uh, the notion of differentiable manifolds. In our case, we want a special type of differentiable manifolds, C infinite manifold or smooth manifolds. So I will be very disciplined. Will be very uh, narrow. Obviously, in each of these layers, we can cover. You know, there are so much to cover, but you know, <laughs> we we don't have time for that. But in the reference materials, you can dive uh, deeper. But um, hopefully, I will be giving uh, a little bit of extra in each of the, the, the things, uh, more than uh, what we need for, uh, for, for, uh, for to get started with the Lee, Lee groups. Um, so this is a provisional, provisional because <laughs> we might make some changes as we go along, let's see. So we are starting with the point set topology or general topology, if you will, which is, uh, or as I call it, you know, boring topology, which is just uh, the abstract, you know, um, um, uh, topology, you know, using the set theoretic language. Um, but we won't spend much of time here because a lot of the interesting topological spaces, the useful ones that we are interested, certainly for manifolds, uh, will come in in, the, in in this in this part here in the metric topology. So this is the, um, the topology induced by the metric space uh, structure, and we'll have three sessions. Um, we might have more. Let's see how it goes, <laughs> and then we'll go to manifolds. Uh, this is the key section, and. Um, at the moment, I located three sessions, but maybe we might have an extra one. Let's see. And also, I'm very inclined to have like a, a brief introduction to Fiverr bundles. Um, let's see how that goes too. So that's essentially it, really. Uh, this is a provisional. It might change as we go along. Um, as you figure it out, this is uh, the thing. The, uh, N is the number of uh, uh, lectures. Now, I've recently sent a background poll. And it's actually nice to see that uh, a lot of you uh, have been exposed uh, to university level mathematics, which is uh, great. For those of you, for the uh, small minority that have not been exposed to uh, university level mathematics, that's okay, but I hope you have had the chance to revisit the basic set theoretic uh, prerequisite that I've mentioned previously. It's also on the registration page because otherwise, you will probably struggle to follow. And I also encourage you to join our Discord um, channel so you can uh, catch up with the more advanced um, uh, community members. Maybe they can, you know, um, uh, help you, you know, give you a hand or something, you know, to, uh, in order to catch up. Okay, I'll do my best, but uh, there is a prerequisite of it, which is, uh, you know, the basic set theoretic stuff that I expect everyone to know. But if you struggle, don't worry, you know, just, uh, you know, try your best to take notes of uh, what you don't understand and then go back and revisit set theory. Um, and another good news is that uh, um, it seems a lot of you, like more than 50% of the, uh, the the community members, at least those who, are, who have registered to, to attend this session, uh, have been exposed to topology. So this is good news. It means I can also be lazy. So <laughs> um, um, because, you know, uh, you will probably be able to, uh, on the Discord, I hope, you know, you'll be able to, uh, you know, assist the others on the chat also. 
uh, uh, so this is actually good to know. And most importantly, um, more than half also feel fairly comfortable with the abstraction, with the mathematical abstraction, which is very important for uh, in, in, in this uh, for topology because a lot of concepts really are uh, abstract, as you will see. <laughs> um, that you know they take a little bit uh, um, longer for uh, it might take for some of you, especially those who are not used to these things, to uh, to start connecting the dots from the abstract to the concrete stuff. Okay, but it's good to know that uh, um, you've. Um, um, like over 50% of you um, feel comfortable with the, with this, with abstraction. So that's good. Um, the final thing I want to share um, is some practical tips, especially uh, the ones that don't feel comfortable with abstraction. It's just, you know, embrace abstraction, you know, take the abstraction red pill. By that, I mean, I know it's a very challenging, especially those guys coming from like a programming background, uh, especially nowadays when you are learning a new stack, <laughs> you know, you go to the developer documentation, you see some sample codes, and then, you know, um, you build some intuition out of that, you know. But the challenge here, I want to challenge you, you know, to uh, to put your your um, your mind in a state where when you see, for example, a mathematical and abstract definition, the first thing that comes to your mind is not, oh, can I see an example or can I build an example? Is actually, what can I prove with this, you know? This is the, 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 the stuff that uh, I want to challenge you with, okay? Another thing is um, take a one step at a time approach to the abstract concepts. By that, I mean, you know, do not rush if you are struggling with one concept <laughs> that's going to be used to define another concept. You know, do not rush, feel rushed to just, uh, you know, skim through things because you will most likely have a gap in the next lab, in the, in the, thing, in the next, in the, in the next abstract concept. Okay. So try to take it one time, um, uh, um, uh, a one time approach to the, to the one step at a time approach to the, to the concept and take your time. This is actually one of the reasons I'm very flexible to schedule the gaps between the sessions, you know, uh, one week or two weeks, uh, as I will do on the poll uh, later as we finish. And another thing I want to advise is try to build your own intuition of the covered uh, abstract concepts. You know, it's uh, that's how you learn because we are all wired differently. You know, so rather than just relying on other people or on the, on the sample test books or whatever uh, other people, try to build uh, your own intuition of the concepts. You know. Um, also try to do proofs by yourself. I will challenge you with the proofs, especially not the list, because uh, part of the outcomes of this thing is uh, this uh, crash course. And in particular, the next module is that hopefully we'll give some of you opportunity of internship within our company or, you know, um, uh, hopefully other uh, partner companies that uh, we are currently talking with. So definitely you need to, uh, to you know, respect uh, you to, you know, to feel comfortable in you know, um, doing uh, mathematical proofs. Um, so try to do proofs by yourself before checking uh, proofs uh, from other people's proof. Um, another thing is that if you struggle to understand a concept, just cross-reference different sources, you know. In fact, you will see um, some of the uh, definitions that I do are uh, uh, going to be different from the, uh, the test book, uh, um, um, uh, reference test book material. Okay, that's because in particular topology, there are different ways of defining uh, the same concept. Nevertheless, the, concept, the, the definitions are all, um, they are equivalent. So the, if my definition is, is very confusing, maybe the test book definition might be uh, more suitable or another definition, uh, someone else's definition might be more suitable or vice versa, okay? Um, this is very important. One thing that I really recommend you, especially now that uh, a lot of, uh, most of you are on Discord, is to set up a study group, okay? Especially those who are on the same time zone. Set up a study group so you can, uh, you know, present each other the uh, the, the challenge uh, um, uh, uh, proofs that, uh, you know, I will be challenging with some uh, propositions. Um, so yeah, so that's it really. Um, uh, uh, the, the stuff that I would like to, um, to uh, advise you. Okay, so, at this stage, is there any question? I see a question on the thing, actually. How many have signed for this crash course? Uh, I have to check my memory. I have like a, a bit of an, uh, uh, the thing. I'll check and get back to you on that. 
I will check and uh, get back to you, uh, George. Okay. For this session, for example, for this first session, there are like uh, 39 people uh, registered, but at the moment uh, there's like uh, 16 people alive uh, right now. So, okay. And actually what I will do on YouTube, I know there's a lot of you who will really like, uh, uh, many of you will be uh, uh, watching the replays on YouTube. So I will split this thing in like two parts. Uh, part A and part B. So those of you, of you, you know, who want to just go straight into the topology stuff, you can just go straight as opposed to this uh, part A where I'm doing the blah, blah, blah stuff. Okay, so there's no question as far as part A is concerned. Is there any question before we uh, move on to part two or part B?